Welcome everybody to the channel. My name is Snipe You First, and in this video, we're going to be installing TeamSpeak 3 for use on 5M servers. We're also going to be installing mic click sounds as well as police radio voice effects. I'll have the links down below in the description where you can click on those and download the necessary files that you will need for this video. Be sure to click on the subscribe button. For every 1,000 subscribers I get, I'm going to do a giveaway on my Twitch channel. Also join my Discord channel, The Spotters Club, where you'll be notified of those giveaways. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or need some help. I'll be sure to answer those questions as best as I can. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to know is if you're running Windows 64-bit or Windows 32-bit. To find that out, you're going to go in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And click on that, and you're going to type in System Information. Once you see the System Information, you're going to click on that, and you're going to go where it says System Type. It's going to say X32 or X64 based PC. Mine is 64, so I'm going to remember that number. Close that. Now go to the link of the Google Drive. And you're going to see all of these right here. You're going to click the drop down arrow that says TeamSpeak 3 folder. Click on that arrow. Scroll down to where it says download. It's going to take a minute or two to download. But once we have that, we're going to move that onto our desktop. Now be sure that you guys have a zip extractor tool like WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. Those are all free tools that you can, you can use. You're going to need that to extract files. I will also have a link down below where you can get yourself a free zip extractor. Okay, so now as you can see, it downloaded the TeamSpeak 3 folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to left-click and hold and drag that onto our desktop. Now in this folder, you get a double click, double click on TeamSpeak 3 folder. And this is where we're going to have our mic click soft sounds, mic click on sounds. We're going to have a couple pictures in here to, to help guide you through this. But we're going to first down, we're going to first uh, open up the TeamSpeak folder and install TeamSpeak. Now this is where you need to know if you have a Windows 32-bit operating system or Windows 64-bit operating system. I have the 64, so I'm going to double click on that. It's going to extract it and open it up. We're now installing TeamSpeak 3. Click on Next. Scroll through all of the uh, license agreements. Once you scroll down, it's going to unlock the I accept terms of the license agreement. Click on that and hit next. Click on next. Choose where you want it to be installed. Me, I just do wherever it uh, pops up. Click next. Now you can install Overwolf if you'd like. What Overwolf is, is uh, overlay so that you can see who's talking. I am going to install Overwolf. Click next. And then finish. This is going to open up your TeamSpeak 3. It's another privacy statement. Scroll all the way down. And click I accept. You can close out the pop-up. Now first thing it's going to want is your account email address and password. If you've already used TeamSpeak and you have an account with them, you just type in your email and password here and click on login. If you've never used TeamSpeak before, you're going to want to click Create an Account. I have one, so I'm going to enter in my information. We'll be right back. All right, so now that we're logged in, we're going to minimize my... i going to bring that down here. This is TeamSpeak. So now that I'm logged in, we need to know what server we're going to join. So you click on Connections. Click on Connect. Now right here where it says server nickname or address, you're going to need to know what 5M server, uh, what their name 
and password is for their team speak. So I suggest you go in their Discord channel and ask for help or look around. It should be in there. It'll either be a, a nickname or it's going to be an IP address. So you're going to enter that information here. And then you're also going to put, put whatever nickname you use in game right in here. So whatever your, your name is in the game, you're going to put that right here. For me, it's Tango 75 snipe you first. All right. So once you're finally in the server, yours will look a little bit different depending on what server you join. This one is a brand new team speak set up for five PDRP. So right now they're going through and setting, setting up their team speak. So this one just looks very plain and not much to it right now, but whatever server you join should have a bunch of different channels and you're going to need to get permissions to join whatever channel you're going for. So if you're a Civ, you may or may not need a permission. If you're LEO, nine times out of 10, you're going to need permission. So speak with somebody in the discord or Maybe there's a help channel where they can give you the permission to where you can join the RTO channels. So what we want to do is we want to set up our microphone and our headset. Now with TeamSpeak, you're going to want to use push to talk. So you're going to go to tools, scroll down to options, and you're going to click on playback. This is where you're going to set up how you hear TeamSpeak, what device you use if it's headphones or if it's desktop speakers, you're going to go to playback device, click on that. And I'm using a go XLR. So I have mine set up to where it's through chat. And now right here where it says voice volume adjustment, this is going to be, it's going to be how loud or how quiet you want your headphones. Sound pack volume. This is going to be like your mic clicks on mic clicks off. You're going to adjust that right here. Now, if you are going to install the mic clicks on and off, you're going to need to check this box here. Own client plays mic clicks and check box other client play mic clicks. And then you're going to hit apply. So now that we got the playback set up done, we're going to go to the capture. This is where we set up our microphone and our push to talk. So again, go to capture device, choose your microphone. Mine is chat mic. Click on push to talk. And right here is where you're going to key bind whatever it is you use for push to talk. I have mine set up to my mouse button. I have a G502 Logitech mouse and I set it up with my mouse. Um, I do not play with controller on 5M. So it's a little bit different. A lot of people that use a controller, they'll have this button set up to either control or alt on their keyboard. So now if you ever get like echoing coming through your headset, you would want to click this right here where it says echo cancellation nine times out of 10. That's going to, that's going to reduce the echo that you hear through your headset or your speakers. And then you're going to click apply. Another thing I'm going to show you is a lot of people don't like hearing the notifications user entered your channel user left your channel so now if you go back to the downloads that you just downloaded there is going to be a turn off user entered left channel picture double click on that and that's going to pop up this picture right here is the picture that that's in that file so to get to this you're gonna follow it right here i'm i'm on notifications so in team speak go down to notifications and then right here where it says action see how how on my picture it says client and then there's drop downs we're gonna find client right here click on that arrow now we're gonna go to connections and then we're going to go to connected and we're going to uncheck server and current channel play. Then we're going to go down to disconnected. We're going to uncheck server and current channel play. Then we're going to go down. We're going to skip over lost connection. We're going to go down to switched. 
to current channel. We're going to click on that and we're going to uncheck and appears and stays in view. Scroll down a little bit away from current channel. We're going to drop that down and we're going to uncheck and disappears and stays in view. Then we're going to go to two different channel and uncheck and appears and disappears and stays in view. And we're going to click apply. You might have to do it. If that doesn't work for you, there's several different sound packs in TeamSpeak. And right up here is the female one. If you click on that drop down, you'll see a default sound pack male. You would click on that and you would just go through and uncheck all of those as well. And they should already still be uh, dropped down if you left them that way. So just go back and uncheck all of these. And you can just, just to be safe, go to sounds deactivated, uncheck all those as well. And then finally, text to speech. Now, if you don't like hearing the sound, you've been moved. You can also drop down this and go through these. But I, I happen to like knowing when somebody moved me to a different channel. So I leave that alone. Uh, go ahead, click apply. And now we're going to exit out of TeamSpeak. We're going to close it out. Okay, so now continuing on, we're going to install the mic clicks off and the mic clicks on sounds. And so what you're going to have to do is with the, with the file that you downloaded from me through the uh, Google Drive, we're going to have two things in here, the mic clicks off dot wave and the mic clicks on dot wave. These two items right here. So now locate your TeamSpeak 3 client icon on your desktop and right click on it. Click on file, open file location. And we're going to scroll up until you see sounds. When you see sound, double click on that double click on default and now on on the file that you downloaded from me you're gonna left click on the mic clicks off dot wave and hold down on it and drag it into your sounds through teamspeak replace file and destination click continue and we're gonna do the same thing for mic clicks on highlight it Drag it on, replace file and destination, and continue. Okay, so that does it for the mic clicks on and off, and it also does it for everything that you downloaded from me. Now you're going to go back down into the video description. There's going to be a mediafire.com link, and that's going to have your Toco VoIP download. Click on download. Get rid of any pop-up right down here where it's where it downloaded Toko VoIP. You're going to click on that to open it and you're going to install. Now, before you click on install, make sure that TeamSpeak is not open. You do not want to have TeamSpeak open. So go ahead, click install, select yes and yes. Okay. So Toko VoIP is installed. Now we're going to install the radio FX plugin. So go down to the description in the link. And click on the radio effects myteamspeak.com add-on and it's going to be the uh, radio effects link so now you're going to want to select your platform if you have windows 64 or windows 32-bit you're going to select that from the drop down i have windows 64 so i'm going to leave it alone and click on download same thing don't have your team speak open when you open this up and and install it so here we go install yes and yes okay so we have those two things installed now go back to the go back to the folder that i told you to close out on that you download from me because there's going to be some pictures in there there's going to be some some toko voip and the radio effects settings picture you're going to want to open up the radio effects settings picture now you're going to go back into your TeamSpeak. Open up TeamSpeak again. Okay, so now you're going to have a plugins tab. You're going to click on plugin and we're going to set up Toko VoIP radio effects. 
what you want to do is have home checked so it unlocks all these settings and you're going to follow my picture for the toco voip effect settings do you see 510 and 6000 for the first one you're on the toco voip effect settings picture and just follow along whatever it has in this column you're going to enter it into this column okay so once you have the toco voip radio effects done you can exit out of that and go back to your team speak where it says plugins and you're going to go down to the radio effects and then the radio effects and it's going to look just like the one you just did but we're not going to use that same picture for the settings we're going to go back to my downloads and we're going to go to the radio effects settings picture and we're going to copy these if the first one says 701 3000 those are the settings you're going to want to use so once again check the home to unlock your settings and just follow along whatever is in this column you're going to put it into your team speak okay and that does it for the uh, settings you can exit out all the other stuff and we're going to test it out now we're going to go into team speak here and we're going to see if anybody can hear us microphone activated sound resumed testing one two testing one two copy your test 10 four thank you you're welcome sound muted microphone muted okay and there you have it and and these right up here this is where you can mute your microphone mute your headset right up here in these two boxes so that's going to do it i hope you enjoyed this video like i said in the beginning uh, go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends leave a comment down below if you have any questions i'll be sure to answer them to the best of my knowledge and uh i'm snipey first until next time We'll see you on the next video.